Well, welcome back, friends. What's on the menu tonight? We have one of these, what I believe is a Highlad light. It is a 450 watt max. I think it takes the mercury bulbs. But anyway, I believe there is like a transformer coil or something in here where we can get a lot of copper. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I had two of them. I did one last night and uh, filled up a whole, almost a whole jug full of copper. So I got lucky there. That's about three pounds of copper. So hopefully I'll get the same yield out of this one. And I have a little neat trick I learned to uh, split those things apart. Being this to get the copper out. And I'll show you that. You have to stick around. But I'm going to set the camera up and we're going to get started taking this thing apart. Got my assistant Dalton. Say hello, Dalton. Hi. Hi. All right, friends. The first order of business. I'm going to take this little shroud here off that the uh, globe or little diffuser was held to. Get that out of the way. What? There you go, Dalton. There's a screw, buddy. Hold on, let me find our screw bucket. There you go. We save all our screws. A lot of screws. As a matter of fact, this will be the first uh, video on the, the new channel. Uh, yeah, one of the new ones. Dalton, tell them what the name of our channel is. Copper. Copper what? Joe. Copper I Joe. Yeah, Copper I Joe. Yeah, I just thought that would be a real catchy name, uh, Copper Eye Joe. You know, like the song. Yeah. I won't mention the song that sounds the same for copyright purposes, yeah. but that's kind of the lines I was like, thinking cut about. That Joe. And Joe happens to be short for my name, so Copper Eye Joe made sense. It kind of deals with scrap, and everybody's looking out for that scrapper's goal, which is copper, so Copper Eye Joe. But um, there we go, we got that part off. And that is steel, that is uh, not aluminum or anything. So we'll hard. set that to the side. Ow. I believe I'll take this end here off where the actual bulb screws into. And get the right end here. But everybody like and subscribe. Yep, like and subscribe. There you go, Dalton, there's a the screw. Go, buddy there's another one we have a whole stash of them yep we're gonna save them up and we'll scrap them too there you go buddy well, I thought dust right there. there you go buddy all right oh, don't you want to snip these and watch your fingers okay there you go there that's some muscle in there buddy all right, good deal. There's that part where the bulb goes in. We'll set that to the side. Oh, let's see if that's copper. All right, there it is. There's what we're looking for. Right, oh, let's see which one is it. Hold on, buddy. We'll get our file here in a minute. Before. Where's the file, though? Hold on, I'll get it. Let me clip these wires loose. Let's see if it's copper or what. It's either copper or copper coated aluminum. What do we want copper coated aluminum? No, we want copper. Okay. Copper is king. All right, buddy, hold on. Let me find the file. <laughs> Guys, let's see what it is. I'm gonna put it right here in y'all's face. All right, let's find the best angle. Right, let me make sure it's on camera. Hold on, buddy. Let me pan down here so they can see. All right, buddy. Give that thing a little file action. All right. Oh, you got to be crapping me. That one's aluminum. Daggone it. What are the chances of two of the same lights that I got, one being copper, one being aluminum? Ah. Don't that just suck? Don't let's see if this one over here is copper or aluminum. Come on, please be copper. <laughs> yeah, but it's copper. All right, man, that is so disappointing. That one side's copper coated aluminum, and this side 
copper. It's copper. I know it don't show up on the camera probably, but this is copper. That's copper coated aluminum. Well, I'll Baby. be darned. Daddy. All right, well, we'll just set that thing to the side for now. Yeah, I copper aluminum. We got some wire. Everybody hates copper aluminum. Well, I mean, you can sell it too, buddy. Uh, All right, let's continue the breakdown here. We'll take this box apart. There is a capacitor inside I want to get out. Oh my gosh, about to. Right. Here, let me turn it over and let me fall out. Ooh. Take these two end caps, set them uh, to the side. Hold on, buddy. All right, those two ends come off. And now we got a capacitor right here. Uh, here you go, Dalton. There's a screw. Oh, no. Another screw, buddy. Thanks. There's our other little cover off of that electrical. And now we got some wires, buddy. Dalton, I gotta get you your own pair of gloves, buddy. That this way. is trash. I don't have pairs of gloves. Well, you need to wear them when we're on camera, buddy. Down there. All right, I found the right like socket. The and uh, let's see, there's a capacitor. Welcome back, guys. I'm not sure what people do with these capacitors on these scrapper stamps. I'm just gonna collect them. And I'll figure that out later if y'all let me know in the comments what y'all do with capacitors and things like that Are they recyclable? Uh, what do you do with them? Here's the one that came out of the other ones and then now I got two I've got several capacitors. I've kept from uh, different teardowns And there is our aluminum now that part is aluminum Whether it's cast die cast. I really don't know the difference guys but uh if you got an idea, just tell me in the comments. But I'll, I, most of the time I just call this stuff cast aluminum. So there we go. And the rest is steel and galvanized. So uh, there we have that. Let me get back all the all the steel. Put that back back on here. I guess you would refer to this as shred. Shred steel. So that's what all this is going to be. Now that's porcelain there. I guess I need to get that out. I don't know what I would do with that other than throw it away or maybe there's a use. Maybe there's a use for it that I don't know. If you do know, let me know. And there we go. There's that little porcelain fixture. Put that to the side and there. If I'm not mistaken, let me make sure. That is all that's left of that entire housing. So now it's time for the portion where I'm going to show y'all how I deal with this. Even though this one side is aluminum and that's copper, I'm still going to process it and get the copper. Um, let me know in the comments if y'all do take this uh, copper coated aluminum out or you just leave it in there. I mean, I could start putting this in a bucket too and just selling it for whatever it is called. I, I don't know the the category what category that's in or how it's classified but me and dalton's going to walk out here and i'm going to show you how i split these apart now all right friends here we are at the log splitter yep the hydraulic log splitter now i'm going to show you how robust and sharp the wedge is on mine that's really thick steel that's almost an inch thick and it comes to a very fine point now the metals that's inside of this are a whole lot softer than the steel of this wedge, so it's not gonna hurt it. And essentially, this steel part is just a bunch of small plates put together. So what's gonna happen is that wedge is gonna get in the seam of those plates, press its way through, and cut the aluminum and copper. Now what I'll do moving forward in the future, I'm gonna have a drop-on wedge built for this. You can buy them, you know, at the tractor supply and stuff, but I'm gonna have one made that slips on here, and it's got its own blade on the front, and that will save my blade from any damage. And the blade that I put on here will be just a tidbit thinner. I've seen people do that on YouTube and it works out very well. So without further ado, let's fire this thing up and show you a little splitting footage here.
All right, friends, that didn't go quite as smooth as the one did last night. But uh, normally it goes a little smoother than that, but it didn't hurt my splitting head a bit. So now we're gonna go back in the shop and get this uh, material pulled out a whole lot easier. But now all I gotta do is tap these in the back a little bit and yank them right out the front and get where you can see it. The one I cut yesterday, it came right apart. I gotta get a vise too, I haven't done that yet. We'll just take and bump them down. And I'm gonna take my, this is an older hammer I don't use anymore for carpentry, so. Oh, there we go. Just surprise that copper right out. That's copper? That's copper, this other one's aluminum here. I well, might just leave that in there. And this is an old ratchet I'm using for a punch. Yeah. You see it's rusted up. It's not good for anything. It's one of those cheap sets. Oh. It broke, by the way, years ago, so I just kept it around for a punch. All right, if my camera will stay up and not flop all the way over. under here like this and prize that up. And there's the other half of our that windings. Let's see what they I'm doing. just gonna leave this copper coat aluminum in there until some of y'all give me some advice on what you think I should do with that. Take it out and collect it or just sell it in with this steel here. I don't know. Alright friends Here's all the copper that we got out of that one, to my disappointment. That's probably not even, that's not even a pound there. It's probably half a pound, but comparably, that's all we got. One identical to this one I just took apart last night has three pounds of copper because it, it was all copper and not copper coated aluminum. So that's what I would have had, but this is what I got. So I'm going to add this in there with that. And I will give you a total weight on 4.3 pounds is what we've got in this jug now. 4.3 pounds. What we had last time. Well, yeah, 4.2, 4.3. So that's our copper. But I've got to get a better scale. I think I mentioned it in another video that I posted on my woodworks on my woodworks page. And uh, this is a bathroom scale. It's kind of finicky, below 10 pounds. So I'm gonna get me a better a better scale like some of you guys have out there. But that's about 4.2, 4.3 pounds of copper right there. Add it to the copper cache. Copper stuff. Oh, is this all copper? Mm-hmm, look out. So here we go. I wanna do it. Dalton, do the money shot, dump it in there. <laughs> There you go, buddy. Oh my God! We have so much copper. Guys, you don't see this. All right. I can't even pick it up. All right, let me see, dog. Oh my God! Oh yeah, that's a good little. You've been doing some of this without me. Yeah, I have, buddy. All right, friends. I tried to look it up. I'm really not sure what the current prices are right now today on copper and metal and such. So I'm not going to throw figures out there if I'm not 100% sure about them. Um, but what I do have is there's 27 pounds of steel here. Whether you shred or whatever you want to call it, 27 pounds. There was 4 pounds of copper. If, uh, if that one hadn't have been half... Um, copper coated aluminum I would have probably had about six pounds of copper there but instead we got four and uh, I didn't even weigh the uh, aluminum here that's the the aluminum windings plus this cap here that came off of one of the lights but uh, we'll deal with that later when I get a better scale that can uh, is uh, more sensitive to finer weight but uh yeah, that's the gist of tearing down that one I had too, the one I did yesterday off camera. Anyway, like I said, this channel's new. I'm new to the scrap game. 
So bear with me, people. I'm learning. If you got helpful advice, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments section. Uh, as long as you're respectful is all I asked. Um, but uh, I just welcome you all to Copper Eye Joe here. I'll probably do an intro later on, maybe something kind of cool. But for right now, I'm going to keep it simple and just get the ca the channel started. But to recap, four pounds of copper and 27 pounds of shred, I guess. I guess you could, uh, some people do say these, uh, do put these in steel, these thick plates. I mean, essentially, it's just a bunch of small plates put together to make the steel that the windings go through. But uh, I'm still learning on what all that needs to be classified as. But anyway, friends, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, you know, like I said, just leave me some uh, helpful advice in the comment section. And I will try to get a Facebook uh, a Facebook page up for the Copper Eye Joe channel. That way, you can contact me on Messenger. But for now, just talk to me in the comments and. Uh, have a good day, people. Get to scrapping.